Frozen Elsa's Kingdom of Snowflakes, once upon a time, in the faraway land of Arendelle, there was a beautiful winter kingdom ruled by the kind and magical Queen Elsa. Elsa had a special gift, she could create snow and ice with a mere wave of her hand. Her kingdom sparkled in shades of silver and blue, and it was famous for the dazzling snowflakes that danced in the air all year round. Each snowflake was unique, just like the people of Arendelle, and Elsa loved every single one. One day, Elsa decided to throw a grand snowflake festival to celebrate her kingdom and the magic of winter. She invited everyone in Arendelle, from the tallest mountaineers to the smallest children, to come to the castle for games, treats, and, most importantly, to help make the biggest snowflake the kingdom had ever seen. Anna, Elsa's adventurous sister, was the first to join her in decorating the palace. Elsa, this festival is going to be amazing. We'll have so much fun. Anna said with a big grin, as she twirled around the snowy hall, Elsa smiled warmly, her heart filling with excitement. I want everyone to feel the magic of Arendelle, she said, her blue eyes twinkling. She waved her hands, and shimmering snowflakes began to float down, lighting up the hall like tiny stars. Meanwhile, Kristoff and Sven the reindeer brought in heaps of fresh snow from the mountains, piling it high in the courtyard. Olaf The cheerful little snowman Elsa had brought to life, was buzzing with excitement, oh boy, I just love warm hugs and cold snow. Olaf giggled as he leapt into a snowbank. Do you think we can make the biggest snowflake ever, Elsa? Elsa knelt down beside Olaf and patted his snowy head. With all of us working together, we definitely can. As the sun set and the stars appeared, Elsa guided everyone outside. She raised her hands, and from her fingertips, streams of frost swirled, sculpting a magnificent snowflake in mid-air. Children gathered around in awe, their eyes wide as Elsa's magic shaped each delicate edge and glistening detail, but suddenly, a little girl named Lila gasped. Queen Elsa. What if the snowflake melts when the sun comes up? Elsa bent down and looked at Lila with a gentle smile. Don't worry, Lila. Magic snowflakes last as long as we remember them in our hearts. Every time you think of this special night, the snowflake will live on. Together, everyone added their own special touches to the giant snowflake, tiny ice patterns, glittering sparkles, and even a snow crystal from Olaf, which he claimed was his extra special frosty touch. When it was finished, the snowflake glowed in the moonlight, bigger and more beautiful than anyone had ever imagined. The festival ended with laughter and warm hugs, and everyone went home with a bit of Elsa's magic in their hearts. And from that night on, Whenever anyone in Arendelle looked up at a snowflake drifting down from the sky, they would remember Elsa's kingdom of snowflakes and the magical night they created something wonderful, together. The end.